All right, that was Petite Pony um, from the Royal Conservatory books. This is the beginner level. Uh, we're going to go through this uh, with a metronome a few times and try to get it up to at least 60 beats uh, per minute. Now, I have a tutorial just kind of breaking this piece down. So if you're watching this and kind of need a little bit more help, I would recommend doing uh, watching that video. So here we go. We're actually going to start our uh, metronome. I think I'm going to start it a little lower. And if you find that it's too fast for you, that's just fine. Um, then I recommend just practicing on your own and trying at a at a slower tempo. Not that we want to play this thing metronomically. Uh, it's just we want to make sure that we have control of uh, each one of the individual actions. So I'm going to start it down at 48 uh, beats per minute. There we go. And so we're going to make sure, notice how that first measure is an incomplete measure. And so we're going to come in on beats, uh, on the beat three. So we're going to have one, two, three, and one. Good. All right, make sure that you're stopping those bases. All right, now what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to bump it up a little bit and if it gets too fast for you, that's just fine. We all progress and need things at different tempos. So I'm now gonna uh, move it up to 52 beats per minute. Here we go. One, two, three and Bumping it up a little bit more. We're going to go up to 56. One, two. And here we go, last one. It's going to get us right up to 60 beats per minute. Now, I don't always recommend jumping up, uh, you know, every, two clicks on your metronome every single time. Um, I'm just doing this for the sake of demonstration. Really an effective way to make sure that you're maintaining control while you're playing the piece is to actually, you know how we started out on, at 48 beats per minute is to click it up to 52 and then go back to 50 and then you click it up 2 to 54 and then you click it back 1 to 52 and you just kind of ebb and uh, kind of go back and forth like that. Uh, so that's a really great effective way to make sure that you're maintaining control. So here we go. We're going to try this uh, one last time at 60 beats per minute. It says that you can play it up to 76 beats per minute. I say as long as you are feeling your left and your right hand are feeling in control and you're stopping those bases. Um, you know, I always tell my students that uh, speed and tempo are just not as important as uh, control, comfort, and musicality. Okay? 
Um, also notice and make sure that on measure four that there is a breath mark. Uh, when I first played it at the beginning of this video, I, uh, I granted that. It's just a moment of pause. But notice how when we play with a metronome, it's, you know, it'd be hard to kind of gauge uh, how many beats you would want to give that to. Um, so just notice that we are blasting through that breath mark, but when you perform it, uh, as a piece, you want to make sure that you, you know, play that. So here we go. One last time through 60 beats per metric. Coming in on beat three. Here we go. One, two. Good luck, and of course, let me know if you have any questions, any comments, or any concerns. Uh, I do offer Skype lessons, even if you just like want a quick 15, 20 minutes just to make sure you're getting everything right. Um, I know that sometimes there's a lot of information. It can be a little bit tricky. So thanks very much for tuning in, and uh, keep in touch.